Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Um, you know, a lot of the videos that you see on my channel have been in, inspired by something, whether it's, you know, another video I've watched or, you know, a TV show or something. And that's the story behind this particular video. Uh, I was watching Man Vs. Food on TV the other day, and he was visiting Minneapolis, Minnesota. There's two uh, burger joints there kind of battling it out, uh, trying to to prove who came up with this cheeseburger first. And it's called the Juicy Lucy. That's what they call this burger. Um, basically what it is, it's uh, two hamburger patties uh, with cheese in between the two. They fuse the patties together, cook it on a flat top. Um, the cool thing, when you bite into this burger, that this molten gooey cheese comes oozing out. It, to me, just looked really, really good. I love cheeseburgers. Um, so that's my first inspiration. The other is a restaurant that's here in Southern California um, called In-N-Out Burger. Um, In-N-Out actually has a secret rest or a secret menu. It's not printed anywhere. It's basically a word of mouth menu. And one of the uh, burgers on that menu is called Animal Style. It's my personal favorite. Um, so what I've done with this particular cook is I've fused uh, the Juicy Lucy with the animal style and then kind of put a ballistic barbecue twist on the two. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I think I'm going to. Anyway, let's uh, let's hit the grill and get cooking. Okay, so first things first, I need to assemble the Juicy Lucy part of this uh, meal here. Um, American cheese is a real popular cheese to use in this, but I'm using Colby Jack. It's just my personal favorite, but I, you, you know, there's one of the restaurants exclusively uses American cheese and the other one on this uh, Man vs. Food used all sorts of cheeses, you know, whatever you wanted basically, including blue cheese, which I thought was pretty interesting. So, for my burger, I'm using my personal favorite, which is Colby Jack, actually, I'm going to take this two pieces off. Um, they, they break it off in small pieces like this and put it in the center, and I'm assuming it's to kind of help minimize the leakage out the side. Now we're going to form these together. Um, these patties here are American uh, Kobe Wagyu from Snake River Farms. They're half inches a piece, or half inches, one half pounds a, a piece, so this is going to be a pound of beef. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, pinch it together a little bit better. And then I'm going to season both sides of these with uh, kosher salt and freshly uh, ground pepper, and then uh, we'll hit the grill. All right, hit the grill now. Excuse the shadow, I've got the, it's, it's pretty much noon right now, and the sun is just bearing down on, on the, the trees behind the grill, so I've got a nice shadow here. All right, so here we go. Now, I'm using a uh, chunk mesquite here, and I've got the coals pushed off to the side just so I can kind of manage this burger without any um, major flare-ups here. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. All right, now for the um, in and out burger twist, that animal-style burger. Uh, one of the things about that animal-style burger is they actually grill the mustard onto the uh, patty. Just got good old original yellow mustard here. I'm going to grill it onto the patty. All right, we'll check it in a bit. Okay, so the burger's pretty darn near done here. So I like to toast uh, my hamburger buns. All right, we're done. Um, let's 
get inside the uh, house and we'll dress this thing up. All right, so here we are. Um, first things first, I'm gonna add a little Thousand Island. I got the mustard grilled into this patty, and you can it smells really good. You can smell that. All right. You know me. Got to have avocados. Now on the bottom, we we'll put this thing here. It's a heirloom tomato. You guys have never had one. Got to try them. They're so good. Now the um, Animal style burger also has grilled onions, so grilled onions. This is just me going for what I like on burgers. Some bacon. Some pickles. <laughs> I think if I next time I do this, I'm going to definitely get some bigger buns. This is all I had to deal with today. Alright, look at that thing, man. So again. <laughs> pound of beef and a lot of deliciousness. Let me, I uh, forgot one thing here. Some more of that sauce. Something about Thousand Island. I don't really like it on salads. Man, I love it on a hamburger. Alright, now let's get this thing cut in half and see if that juicy, loosey deliciousness is going to spill out onto my cutting board here. Now look at this thing. It looks like a cartoon hamburger. I was actually going to use this knife originally. I had to bust out the big guns here. <laughs> oh, okay. And again, this, uh, this, these Kobe hamburger uh, meat is just really good. And there we are. It's not runny as much uh, as what you'd see with a, uh, you know, the American cheese, but it's thoroughly melted. You can see it's actually starting to drip right here. Yeah, it's, it's running out. Um, yeah, this thing is going to be awesome. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, try this out, a Juicy Lucy. Talk to you guys soon.